Hi friends, welcome to Bella Stitchery. What's the only thing better than applying ink? Removing ink. So today I'm gonna to show you a super simple process for lifting ink with Distress Oxides. You could use this with any shade, obviously. You could use this with any stamp. So what I'm gonna be using is a clear stamp and some water to pick up some ink in a fun pattern for my card. So for this, I have selected Peacock Feathers, Twisted Citron, and Picked Raspberry. So I'm going to just start on just a regular white cardstock. I haven't primed this. You can add things like gesso if you really want that resist and that lift to come up even easier because regular cardstock is much more porous, so it will hold a little bit more of the ink. So it's up to you, but I just wanted to do something that I didn't have to wait and do a lot of different kinds of techniques to, to have this effect. So I'm gonna go in with some ink in my dauber and I'm trying to apply it pretty heavy because the, the darker the ink, the more I'm gonna see that lift. So I'm just gonna do some of that, do some of this. These are colors I just love anyway. They make me happy. Ooh, and you blend them, you get purple. So fun. Oh man, inks. I have so many inks and I love finding new ways to use them because they're just so gorgeous. The color palettes are amazing. And now they have the sprays too, gosh. I do need to use them more. Sometimes I forget about them. Okay, so I'm gonna apply some ink here. in a dark and glorious way. Do some blending, however fancy you wanna get. It's kind of a tie-dye, I like it. Feeling groovy, okay. Now, I'll put some more in this corner here too. Okay, then when you're done with that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my stamps, these are just some random floral stamps I've had in my stash forever. And I'm gonna just spray this with water. Okay. Then we're just gonna put it down on our paper. The quicker you do this technique, the better it's gonna lift because the ink is still relatively wet. So I'm gonna dry this off, spray with more water, do another here like so. Isn't that cool? Oh, it's just so exciting. It's, it feels a lot like some kind of kid's craft, I'm not gonna lie, but it's also kind of really fun. Sometimes you do a craft and you feel so sophisticated. This, maybe it's the colors I chose, maybe it's this <laughs> kind of, I don't know, doodly looking stamp, but it does feel like something I would have been delighted to do when I was five. And here I am, still delighted. Okay, so we're gonna do some more. So you could do however much you want. It's a really cool technique though, and it's super easy. And if you don't like the way it's turning out, just do a new one. No big deal, no one will ever know. Okay, so there's my cute little quick card background. And then what I think I'm gonna do, I've already cut it basically to scale so I can mat it with black. And then I'm gonna stamp a sentiment on there. So for this, I just wanna make sure it's a little bit dry. And then my space is a little bit dry there. There we go. Now I have this happy birthday. It was, it's also from Tim Holtz and I think it's from one of those like bird, remember the happy bird day die set? I'm gonna get some ink. I'll use some black soot for that. I'm trying to think of which way I wanna do this. Oh, I kinda like it this way gonna stamp it here. Beautiful, love it. Then I'm going to mat it onto my card using some packing materials here to kind of make it pop up a bit. Easy peasy, love this stuff, use it all the time. A little hot glue on the back. Like so, my card is still wet. Normally, I would probably wait for this to dry, but here we are. 
we're going for it. Okay, so I'm gonna put some glue there. Try to center that on my card. Super cute. And then maybe put a couple little colorful rhinestones. Let's see. Maybe some of these. These are Twinkle Goosebumps from Queen & Co. They're kind of cute. I've had these for a while, haven't used them, but they're cute. I don't know if you could see that, but they're like, a goosebumps is a good word. They're clear, but they have this kind of bumpy texture on them. So they're kind of an unusual type of rhinestone. And I'm an unusual type of crafter. So I feel like we, we understand each other. Let me get my art glitter glue going. And maybe just one. Sometimes I like to do just a little simple something. It's happy. Look at that, cute, right? Now, what do you think about this technique? Can you think of other applications for this? This would be cute to make your own backgrounds on scrapbook layouts too, or mini albums. You could do this in a different color palette and have like a vintage feel if you used a lot of like sepias. Or is it sepia? What do you say? Do you say sepia or sepia? Text me in your comment. Of course, however you text it, I will just read it however way because it's the same word. But text me a comment anyway and let me know your favorite Distress Oxide colors. I kind of love them all. And sometimes I just like stacking them and rearranging them in my drawer. Um, that's my video for today. What do you think? It's really simple. It's really fun. Try it out. Let me know what you think about the process. Subscribe to my channel, ring the bell. Check it out, try it out. Let's make some stuff. Bye.